Welcome back to another video on this server that I've built and just to show you a, a quick little uh, look of what's inside this server. So this server's got a full uh, ATX power supply, a Corsair 8, AX850 and that just sits in there quite nicely underneath the hard drive bays so turn off my camera my flashlight should I say now in here I've got a Intel SSD mounted just by using the screws and on this other side in here get the flashlight up there are a few more, there are two more, four, three more four more um, drive bays and these drive bays just fit in with thumb screws so screw a hole in there screw a hole in there, they aren't, they aren't actually in at the moment because I've been playing around with it and in the bottom here we've got I do apologize for the blue light, I can see this on camera um, an Antec cooler 620 for water cooling and for that radiator that's going up into here so the radiator is actually in the space where the, this 140mm was pre-installed in the case and I've put a 120mm Noctura Noctura, whatever you want to call it a 120mm fan in there to push the airflow from the radiator out to this fan here which draws it out from there that's called a push-pull configuration and that's basically what you want for water cooling and it's silent, that's mainly why I went for it um, so yeah I've got a standard mini ITX form factor board in here. Um, Snesus P8H77i that fits nicely. Um, see here two slots of RAM, processor, small heatsink, and the IO is pretty decent. If you can want to go back and look at the other video that I've done, and all this really fits quite nicely. And through two USB 3.0 ports here, front audio power button, power, um, LED light, and a hard drive indicator, and these lights at night are pretty bright, so I'll just show you here in a second, I'll just go off and turn the lights off and you can have a look at them there, and I'll move the camera out, it does produce a nice sort of glow, and it wouldn't bother too many people, I mean, screen's just there, and that's there. But when the hard drive indicator does come on, it does get a bit bright, seeing it is a white LED, and the other one's a blue LED. That's pretty distinct blue, but overall it's quite nice, gives a good effect. And the case just slides in over the top here, on these little rails, and that fits in not quite nicely. One problem I did have, which I mentioned in my other video, was that the... If I move it... <clears throat> The SATA cables come out from in here, and you have to make sure that there's a clearance here for the side panel to come in. Also on the other side here, um, with just your front audio and your front power plug and everything, you don't want anything to be caught up in there like I did. And so yeah, it fits quite nicely. There is a bit of a mess there, but I mean you're not seeing it really, and it's nice and cool. I'll just show you the temperatures of it by using a hardware monitor here just get it up so the board's at a pretty reasonable room temperature I mean I'm in Australia here and it's pretty humid and as for the fan speeds you can see there and the processor speeds which is absolutely excellent um, at the moment it would be running at 1.6 gigahertz because it's sitting here not doing anything it's just uploading quite slowly to crash plan and yeah all is good again for other peripherals I've just got a USB gigabyte mouse just you know like ten dollars or whatever and a mini keyboard uh, it's okay I'm used to typing on a mechanical keyboard and it's a bit sort of flimsy but yeah in terms of inside inside the actual computer case Things fit quite nicely, the hard drives. As you can see there's one hard drive there. And the hard drives sort of screw in for two hard drives, so there's one here, one here. They fit in quite nicely. 
and they yeah they they're very quiet and there is also another fan here as you can see there's um a vent right there it's just like two I'm sure it's two 80 mil fans just spinning quite slowly there and they work quite nicely to draw the heat away from the hard drives out to this exhaust fan and out to this other fan which is being controlled by a little dial on the back there to uh, turn it up and down probably be able to hear that now yeah you'd be able to hear that and if I just turn it off you'll be able to see the fan spinning down slower so yeah overall this case has been really great I mean standard hard drives fit in there so that's all good 120 mil 140 mil and it sort of gives you a nice good idea of what the fractal design has to offer the fractal design node 304 um, if there's any other questions you want to ask me please don't forget to subscribe and comment any suggestions for future videos and thank you for watching have a good day